Hello friends, my name is Ankit Jaswal. I am currently studying at TU Kingdom. I am studying Embed System course. And today, in this video, we are going to discuss how students can go about masters in Germany without taking any help from any of the consultancy. I have written this blog uh, around uh, three four months back, and after that, I have got a lot of requests to make a video on you now giving all details about the same. So in this video, I am going to cover the whole admission process of masters in Germany uh, step by step. So uh, the first important thing uh, is you have to collect all the important documents. So first is apply for the passport. If you don't have a passport, apply as soon as possible. Uh, it will take around 15-20 days. Then take IELTS, TOEFL. You can take any IELTS or TOEFL. And if your university is requiring GRE, then take GRE. Else there is no need of giving GRE. Then apply for transcripts at your university. Uh, transcripts uh, is nothing but a document in which your four year marks are given together. So you can apply for transcripts at your university. Then collect LORs from professors or companies. So you can collect uh, LORs uh, from professors like your project guide. And if you're working in a company, you can collect uh, LOR from your manager. Then make your CV and SOP. Try to make your CV and SOP very nicely. Then German language certificates. These things are, are very important and first you should try to collect this as soon as possible. Now next is uh, get the course details and the university details for a particular course. Now let's say if I want to apply for embed system course. Now how from where I should where from where I will get all the universities uh, in Germany which is uh, providing a bed system course. So for that, Germany has a website called DAAD. So once you click on this link, you will go on this website. Now this is the DAD website where all the German universities are listed. Every single university in Germany providing every single course has been listed on this university or uh, this portal. So now what you have to do is you have to just Type keyword like I am interested in embedded system course. So I'll type embedded system. I am interested for ma master's course. I'll click master's. Then uh, course language. I want my course language as English. That's it. Once you click on uh, when you once you tick this, you will get a sorted list of universities which are providing different courses related to embed system okay so like Saarland university uh this this university that we have got uh Ravensburg. okay so all these universities provide courses for embed system now you can go uh, sometimes what happens is there are some courses which are not particularly related to embed system they might be having one two subjects okay not a proper core embed system course so even those are listed so you'll have to take care that uh, check out the proper syllabus and see if you know that syllabus suits your like matches the uh, matches your interest so once you have done this you can click it here and once you click here you'll get all the details about that university so like what is the course language semester when is when the semester is beginning and when when they took uh, take admissions like in summer semester and winter semester and then uh, application deadlines like 15 june 15 december are the application deadline then what are the course details like first uh, what they have in first semester what they have in second semester cost and funding like if they have tuition fees or not what is the enrollment fees like every university has an enrollment fees even if they don't have a tuition fee they will have a, some some kind of enrollment fees so what is the enrollment fee what are the requirements like they mention you know uh, what is your TOEFL, uh, TOEFL requirement what is your German requirement in that way and then also you know a bachelor's degree in computer science or similar field like what what is the degree that is required for this particular course so all those details are mentioned here so once you can you know try different keywords here and you know you'll get a different list of universities so sometimes you know your keyword might not match and a particular university might not be listed just you know 
sometimes try out different keywords but every single university in germany is listed on this website you can you know uh, blindly trust this website i can say you don't have to go for any other website you know for uh, for the list of universities so this is this is how you can you know get the details of the uh, uni uh, of the university you can you know write down the deadlines like i've mentioned here now what do you have to do make a list of universities of your choice of course and write down the deadlines of the universities which are available on the above link itself like i showed the deadlines were mentioned so let's write the deadline now what you have to do is don't wait for the deadlines to come apply as soon as possible keep checking the website like if it is uh, if they are accepting applications from uni assist keep checking uni assist portal if they are ac accepting application through their own portal keep checking their own portal okay university portal and apply as soon as possible because there are some universities which give admits based on first come first serve so if you are lucky enough and if you satisfy all the criteria then you can even get an admit early now next is there is a website called ms in germany they give you a list of universities with deadline directly okay it's a paid service but then uh, uh, recently they have reduced the rates and now it uh, now it's it's affordable to all so the rates are not too high you can you know go for this uh, where they will directly give you a list of universities if you are finding it difficult that you are not able to find the universities for a particular course you can you know contact them and you know join the scholars members uh, uh, service and then you will get a list of all the universities uh, all the universities for a particular course now next important thing is ielts now people uh, students say you know from where i should study ielts and you know what what is the requirement and all so there is a free edx course on ielts so uh click, click on this yeah so this is a course for ielts now this is a very good course it explains you every single step like what are different type of questions that are asked in ielts how you should attempt it i personally have done this course and i have really liked it uh, the professors are very good and they have explained the whole test preparation procedure for ielts very nicely here and then there is one more important uh, pdf a ebook i can say how to get seven band in ielts so if i click here uh, i have uh, uploaded a file on my drive so how to get seven band go go and read this pdf it's a very good pdf which gives you all details about you know how you can get seven band in ielts uh, i personally did this this and then few youtube videos you know how uh, about speaking uh, all that and i was done like i scored 7 in ielts so anything above 6.5 is enough for ielts and uh, i personally did this too and then i gave few test few uh, small sample test and then only youtube videos related to speaking and writing that's it for ielts so this two are very important you should surely try to do this then now from where i should give my ielts exam there are two uh, companies i can say uh, who uh, who conduct ielts exam one is idp and other is british council i'll suggest you to give your ielts from idp because you get your exam dates very early if you want to give the exam in 15 days uh, with idp you can you know get the date but then with british council you will have to wait at least 30 40 days to get get the date for ielts ielts exam and there is no difference between you know exam pattern uh, the exam question paper of british council or idp they are, con are conducted both on the same day and the exam papers are exactly the same the only thing is two different companies are doing it So I have given the link for British Council and uh, for IDP here. You can click on that and go uh, go and check the website. Now for TOEFL again, there is one more EDX course on TOEFL also. 
so you can just you know check and check this this TOEFL course if you want to give TOEFL then you know you can go through this I have not done this course but then I guess even this will be very good now here what I'll recommend is students should uh, give IELTS than TOEFL because IELTS is a paper based test and TOEFL is a computer based test and IELTS you can score very easily compared to TOEFL scoring in TOEFL is a bit difficult than scoring in IELTS that's what my you know my point of view is so I generally recommend students to go for IELTS than TOEFL now the next is you know many many students face problems in writing SOP and LOR so I have given you a lot of samples so if you click on this uh, there will be you know uh, I've you know made different folders for SOP LOR uh, like here sample resume uh, LOR SOP so when, if you click here you will get lot of lot lot and lot of samples of SOP you can read it and then try to make your own SOP don't copy SOP directly from here because uh, it is not good and they check if you know if the SOP is copied or not so LORs you can uh, copy the format uh, not an issue but then SOPs don't copy it make try to make it on your own and if you're still having problems in making your SOP and if it's like you're not able to you know put everything uh, in those two pages uh, then even we provide SOP services and what we you know, what we normally take is we take resume or CV of the student and you know we just tell him why he wants to do masters in Germany just uh, plus in two three lines and we give a, a full proper SOP from our side and we charge around 2000 for the same so you can just you know check out the service if you are not you know able to write your SOP properly then uh, we come to resume CV now resume uh, here in Germany is a little bit different it is accepted in European format so there is a website uh, which uh, where, where you can you know directly get in European format so what you have to do is you have to just make your account you have to give all the details and it will it will make a SOP in European format uh, sorry resume in a European format so only thing is once you make your resume from here this Europass logo will come on the top not the bot at the bottom so what you have to do is you convert your PDF to word file and remove this Europass name from every brief because it doesn't look good. So this is about CV, then about German language. Now, not every university needs a uh, no German uh, language certificate. Like my university, TU Chemnitz, uh, needed A1 certificate for embedded system course, and there are a few uh, no, universities for automobile they need B1 certificate. So it depends on the course. So we'll have to check which university uh, like if your university requires German certificate or not irrespective of if they require it or not I suggest you to at least you know do A1 or A2 level in India because when you uh, come here here normally in many of the cities locals speak only German so interacting with local will be very difficult if you know if you don't uh, know even basics of German so Try to at least do even A2 uh, in India and then uh, rest of the levels you can you know do it here. Now from where you can learn German. So you, know, you can join Goethe Institute classroom teaching program. Uh, they teach very nicely. Then there is one more uh, one more website which I have recently found is uh, Smarter German. Uh, I have also taken a course of uh, from this uh, from their website. Uh, it was for grammar and he has really taught grammar very well like very simple uh, simple language in, in the form of songs uh, he has you know uh, made us remember the grammars so you can you know even check his uh, website for learning German then we have got you know, on YouTube there are different channels like 
uh, we have got German with Anya, we have got German with Jenny, where you know you can learn German. So, and then there is a particular video by Bharat, you might be knowing Bharat in Germany. He has made a particular video on you know your complete guide to start learning German on your own. So, even you can check out that video and you know you can get more information about the same. So, at the end, what are the documents that you require for application process? I recommend you to you know collect at least seven to ten sets of all these documents. The documents are passport, L score, VRE score, not mandatory but recommended, depends on the course. Then CV resume, SOP, letter of recommendation. I I suggest you to take three LORs at least. You now if you are working somewhere, you can take one from company. And if you are at college, you can take it from college professor, HOD, project guide, etc. Then work experience letter. If you have any work experience, then you know that letter will be very useful. Then internship letter, transcripts, German language certificate, all your marks from 10th standard to graduation, degree certificate, passport size photo. For biometric photo requirements for Germany, check this. So if you click here, so here. I know uh, this is by uh, this I got it from uh, VFS Mumbai uh, like German visa office Mumbai and there they have given all the details so the dimensions are to be very correct uh, the passport size photo for different uh, countries is different like for Germany this dimension is accepted so you have to make sure that you know your photo dimensions are this else uh, the photo will not be accepted so these are the documents that is required uh, for you know for applying to any of the universities in Germany. So for this video, uh, we have only covered the parts like what are the documents from where you can learn certain things like uh, IELTS then German. In the next video, I'll be covering about how you can apply to university, uh, uh, how to go about visa process, and rest of the stuffs. So that's it for this video. Uh, if you like this video, please share it with your friends and make, sub make sure you subscribe to this channel so that you know later on if I come up with any other video, you will be notified.